Mr. Olsen, we're here at the EEC today at a conference about uh, participatory democracy. What prospects do you see for improved citizens' participation in Europe as a democracy? I could say great prospects for it if, uh, on one hand, the European Economic and Social Committee will advance on its demands for more of civil dialogue and organized participative processes from the European institutions. And on the other, that um, it would also advance if the European organizations themselves uh, uh, reinforced both their strategies and their alliances and certainly they would help need help from the EC in this respect as well. So I also see an alliance which I think positive between the European organizations and uh, the EC. On the other hand I'm a bit pessimistic in the sense in the sense that you have to look into European policies uh, of today and I then rather pessimist in the sense that European policies are not advancing very much, so I'm not sure that a uh, civil dialogue would advance because of the uh, retreat, call it like that, of European policies. Admittedly, the European Union is a very complex uh, multi-institutional organization. We do have, however, the Article 11 of the Lisbon Treaty, which has additional tools for citizens to participate, including the Citizens' Initiative. What rule concrete do you see for the EEC in the light of these uh, underlying changes in the EU uh, democracy? I mean, Article 11 is a very good step forward for civil dialogue and civil society participation. However, it has to be implemented. And I'm not sure the European Union institution will implement it. Uh, it will maybe just a, an empty, uh, empty paragraphs. So it's up to the EC to fill those paragraphs, and it will be the only institution that could do it. So, so what concretely do you think the EEC, the Economic and Social Committee should do? I think the ESC is the only institution that could advance implementation of Article 11 because I don't, I'm rather pessimistic on the EU institutions doing it, the other EU institutions doing it. So it's up to the ESC to mobilize people in favor of Article 11 in the member states, through the members of the committee in the member states, so that citizens themselves uh, be mobilized for the European Union policy and participation of citizens and also for the ESC to uh, ally themselves with European civil society organizations so there'll be a large alliance that could come forward being having a large base in the member countries uh, to uh, push forward Article 11. Otherwise we won't have anything at all. So basically a conference like today is a very good starting point for it's, having that implemented. It's just a starting point. Now it has to be implemented through an action plan, I would think, over the next few years. Having its space in the member states and in a, as I said, in an alliance between the EEC and civil society organizations. Are you confident that the EEC can play that role? I hope so. I hope they can. And they must. They must. I don't see the, uh, any, other, uh, any other way of doing it. Yeah.